We had so many questions about our main suite, you bunch of creeps. <laughs> but it's cool because I love that you wanted to know what kind of a Zen vibe we were gonna have in our space. And I think it is important because I find a lot of people, they put so much energy into renovating their entertaining spaces, the living room, family room, kitchen, all of those spaces, but they forget about the importance of the space where you need to recharge your own batteries. And so for us, we wanted it to be incredibly calm. This is actually almost an exact replica of the original bedroom. This is the location of the original bedroom, but I raised the roof quite a bit. But we loved the cove detail that was here, so I rebuilt it brand new in the exact same shape, just a little bit taller. Um, and it's little details like that that I think are so important to us because this is such a historically relevant home that we wanted to make sure that we were paying an homage to what Gerard Colcord had originally done. So other than that, when you see the vibe in here, it's all about that relaxation, that R&R. &R. And I need it because when I'm running 18 construction projects at a time, I need my rest. <laughs> so let's jump into the fan questions. Lords had a question about switches, light switches and fixtures. And yes, we have a lot of really cool stuff in here. Uh, Circa Lighting did all of the lighting in the house. So we have beautiful statement chandeliers in every room. Our sconces as well. We wanted to have something that was a little bit unique, uh, something special. The cool thing too, you'll see, we have our switches. Those were handmade by Meljack in France. And the reason we went with the toggle style was because, again, I feel like that's just a little more authentic to the era of the home. I didn't want to do something that looked really modern. I didn't want to do something digital. These are actually all digital, so I can control everything with my app on my phone, but it looks like something that would have been here in 1938. Victoria had a question about door hardware. And yes, we have door hardware. In fact, we worked with M-Tech to do something special with every space. Um, here in, in the main suite, we've got the crystal door knobs, which is very authentic to a 1938 home. Uh, we've got black knobs, stuff with a little bit more intricate detail on it. Um, really, the first thing you engage with when you enter a room is the doorknob when you're opening the door. So it was very important for us to have something that looks and feels beautiful. Same with our hardware on our cabinetry. Signature Hardware did all of our pulls and all of our knobs. Um, and again, that was a chance for us to go wild and do something special. And Zoe was the one who picked most of that hardware because um, I was trying to get the architectural stuff and the construction stuff done. And she did a beautiful job because every kitchen, every cabinet has something special in this house. A question came from Drew Scott. This seems like it's gonna be a rabbit hole, but uh, Drew was asking if I have one of our Scott Living by Rustonic mattresses on our bed. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. In fact, I also have one of our Scott Living adjustable bases because nothing is better than having that when you're reading in bed, lifting you up. In fact, we are also on one of our Drew and Jonathan home by Karistan rugs. We also have beautiful Scott Living by Smith & Noble window coverings throughout the house. They add a little bit of warmth and just break up the walls with a little texture. Uh, and so Drew, was that your attempt at just having some really shameful product placement? I think it probably was, but uh, <laughs> that, that was Drew. This was actually a pretty crazy change to the footprint of the whole main suite because originally it was broken up into Oh my gosh, it was like six different areas. There were separate closets. There were, there was actually like, you know, a her bathroom and a he bathroom. And it was weird because hers had like this catwalk thing in it and a really weird shower. I couldn't even stand up straight in the shower. So all of that just felt really disjointed. Zoe and I like each other's company. And so we wanted to have a suite where we could actually be in the same space. And so, you know, that's how sometimes, you know, you have to really look at a footprint and say, how can I make this function better? How can I make everything feel like it's gonna work better for the family and for our family? It was simplifying. Making the spaces larger and singular as opposed to being so chopped up. So let me answer some questions in the main suite bathroom for you. Everybody always talks about how they wanna have a spa-like oasis and that's exactly what we were going for here. This room has so much natural light because as the sun comes up, it pours in the back here. So we originally actually installed shorter windows and then we raised them so we could get even more light. 
Um, I love that. I love the privacy of it looking straight out to a hedge. But in here, because of the height of the room, we had an opportunity to do something really outstanding. So to answer your question, Avik, you said, show us the main suite bath. This is our main suite bath. And we worked with All in Stone, who provided all of the slabs, all of the stone. And this is actually a laminum product. So it has the beauty of real stone, comes in a million different finishes. So you can see all throughout the house, we use laminum in a ton of different ways, but you never have to worry about stains. It's extremely easy to clean. And you can see how we took it all the way up to the height of the ceiling in the shower here, just to create something special. That's what was important for us. We want it to be easy to clean and maintain, but we also wanted something to be dramatic. And so when you see this all come together, all of a sudden you notice it's a pretty incredible space and it's so light filled that it's the perfect way to start your day. I also wanted to make sure we had a lot of his and her areas. So Zoe has most of the storage uh, and she also has her own sink, her own space. The secret to any successful relationship, <clears throat> his and hers water closets. <laughs> so we also have that and most, most bathrooms we work on don't have the footprint to allow for two separate water closets, but because we simplified this whole area into fewer spaces, we were able to accommodate that, which I really love. So let's answer some fan questions about the main sweep bath. Steven had a question about whether or not we have modern or traditional plumbing fixtures. Oh. Everything in the house is classic. We wanted everything to feel like is this something they would have picked in 1938 when the house was originally designed and built? Also, the fact that we're not modern people, Zoe and I don't really love a modern aesthetic. We like everything to feel classic. So you'll notice whether it's the plumbing fixtures, which Kohler actually provided all of the plumbing fixtures for the entire house. Whether it's the tub, which is absolutely incredible. I love a clawfoot tub. Um, you know, the shower fixtures, the bathrooms, the sinks, everything, the kitchens. We even have pot fillers in both kitchens to make life easier when we're cooking. Um, everything has that classic aesthetic to it. So it feels like, you know, people will have to ask themselves, is this original or is this new? Mandy is asking if this is a historic home, is there a lot of big beam work and cool ceilings? And yes, as a matter of fact, there are, but they're not original. Uh, this whole space, because we rebuilt it, we had barren beams make us this beam because this is actually hiding one of the main trunk lines for the HVAC. Uh, we had nowhere else for it to go, and because we wanted to vault the ceiling in here, we didn't have the attic space to run that. So we had this beam made. We also have the beams in the family room downstairs, which look absolutely stunning. And I love it because you can take something that is you know, real wood on the surface, but it's doing something functional for you inside. Back in the day, they would have had giant thick beams that were literally like thousands of pounds, who knows? Uh, we don't have to do that anymore. So with these barren, we give them all the, the dimensions. They make the beams with whatever finish, whatever color we want. Good question. Another cool benefit of all of the bedrooms, everything now opens onto our solarium. So there's a really cool catwalk around here, and this is a great way to connect everything and still have all that natural light. Usually you don't necessarily get windows on the inside as well as the outside of your house, but here you do. So this is it for the main suite bath. Um, we designed this so that we could you know, have one big open space, spend even more time together. But sometimes it's nice to have personal spaces where you have a little separation too. So let me give you a little sneak peek at Zoe's office. Questions on Instagram from Mrs. Cavallero and Linda. Can we see Zoe's craft room? Yes, you can. This is her craft space. Zoe is a craftaholic, if you didn't know that. So this is her dream box, has all of her crafting stuff organized. She will literally, if we're going to like a, a birthday party or something, she'll make the invitations or the tags. She uses her Cricut machine to do all of that stuff. Um, I love those little personal touches because it makes it feel special. Um, but so much crafting creativity comes out of this space as well as, you know, she'll write music for her band, she and him in here, or, you know, she'll uh, run lines or something like that for one of her movies. So this is a really nice private space. She also wanted to make sure that it was connected really well to her office space whenever she's doing office work. So we have the ability for everything to stay completely open, or we have the ability to close things off. Uh, Woodgrain did all of the doors 
for, for this house. And they're all solid core. That's how doors were back in the day. If you ever had an old home, you'll notice the doors are really, really heavy. Today, they do a lot of hollow, hollow core doors. Solid core doors are better to reduce noise transfer. So, you know, if the kids were making noises in one area or someone's playing music, it's nice to have really high quality solid doors to keep that noise out. But I love the fact that Woodgrain also was able to do a style that was similar to what originally was in the house. We went with 10 panel because we raised all of the doorways here, raised everything up because they're nice and tall. Originally, I could like touch my hair on the top of all the doorways. It was too low, so everything is grand, everything is big. But then we also snuck in a little technology from today. So Kay and Crowder did all of our pocket door hardware, so it's all soft close. So we never have to worry about, you know, someone crashing a door closed or crashing a door open. Um, they soft close and soft open, so when these are, are closing, everything is sort of sucks them together nice and tight and then tucks them away. So pretty cool to have all of that integrated into something that still looks like an original feature. Oh, hi. I was just admiring myself in Zoe's gigantic mirror. Uh, <laughs> she actually told me I'm not allowed to get ready in her makeup area, which is fine because I don't really wear a lot of makeup. Anyway, that is it for Zoe's suite. If you guys check back, I'm still gonna be posting a lot more videos on Instagram, continue the tour through the house, keep asking those questions because even beyond all of these videos, I'm gonna be answering more questions on social media, but I'm glad you enjoyed all of our personal spaces.